Many of you asked, why did I throw my rice cooker away? Well, if you're new here, let me catch you up real quick. I performed an experiment on rice, which involved me leaving rice in a rice cooker for seven days, which in the end left me with rice that looked like this. Now this rice is full of a bacteria called Bacillus cereus, and I know this because I had the bacteria identified via next generation sequencing. And this bacteria produces a toxin called cereulide, which is what makes you sick when you eat bad rice. Also, it can survive very hot temperatures. So, if you've ever left your rice in a rice cooker for too long, you likely have these toxins in your rice cooker too. So the question still stands, do you need to throw it away? Well, let's perform an experiment and see. This rice cooker and rice is from a different experiment. And I know that it has millions if not billions of bacteria in it, which also means that it has plenty of toxins in it as well. So for this experiment, I'm going to wash this rice cooker with Dawn soap by hand, and then I'm going to test the rice pot to see how much bacteria is still on the surface of the rice pot. And after this is fully air dried, I'm going to take it to my lab and test it. A few moments later. In my lab, the test I'm going to perform is an environmental swab test. The swab I'm using is in buffered peptone water, which is commonly used in this test. Additionally, you usually only test a small area, but in this case, I'm going to test the entire inside of this rice cooker. And now I'm going to take a small amount of this liquid and put it on a petri dish. And by doing this, I can get an estimate of how much bacteria is still in this rice pot. And by extension, I can also determine if that means there's still lots of toxins too. So let's go throw these petri dishes in the incubator and see what might grow. So from this time lapse, you'll see about 40 colonies, which means that there's an estimated 400 colony forming units in total on the inside of this rice pot. That's a significant reduction, especially if you remember that there used to be 2 million colony forming units per 10 grams of rice, which also means we probably had a significant reduction in the toxins as well. And I'm fairly certain your immune system can fight this off, which indicates that even if you have rotten food or spoiled food in a container, you can wash the container and get rid of most of the bacteria and associated toxins. So did I need to throw away my rice cooker? Honestly, I just needed a new one.